I'm Marianne Cushy, and this is your morning update for Friday, June 11. Today, 15 Californians will be $50,000 richer, and you've got a chance if you've been vaccinated. The state is holding its second Vax for the Win drawing. Three people from San Diego County won during last week's drawing. On Tuesday, 10 Californians will win $1.5 million in the final drawing. If you still need to get vaccinated, you can get a pair of free Padres tickets at the same time. The team is hosting a vaccine clinic at Petco Park tomorrow from 9.30 a.m. till 3.30 in the afternoon at Gallagher Square. Each person vaccinated will get a free pair of tickets to a future Padres game and a Padres Heroes t-shirt. There will be another clinic where you can get those tickets on the 26th. Today, the man accused of killing a South Bay grandmother after crashing into her car head on will be formally charged. Police say 22 year old Alonzo Pena was street racing in Chula Vista on Saturday when he ran a red light. He then crashed into another car, killing 57 year old Martha Villalobos. Pena is facing a charge of vehicular manslaughter. Students at UC San Diego are celebrating their achievements in person this weekend. There will be 10 ceremonies for the class of 2021 at Remac Field on the Triton track. Because of attendance limits, the ceremonies will be streamed online. One of San Diego's most popular summer events is back at the Del Mar Fairgrounds starting today. The San Diego County Fair will present homegrown fun. The scaled down event will be capped at about 13,000 visitors a day. They'll run until July 4th, but it will be closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. The fair will feature 35 food vendors, nearly 300 shop vendors, pony rides and other kid friendly activities. Gates open up at 11 o'clock this morning. Tickets are $10 online. Organizers of San Diego Pride, they've announced some major in-person events. They've applied for a two-day block party permit for Pride Weekend on July 16th and 17th. And there will be what they're calling a resilient community march instead of the canceled parade. We will continue to bring you the latest news right here at NBC7.com and on TV. And you can also learn more on our podcast. That's Today in San Diego, where we talk about the day's biggest headlines in less than five minutes. Stay safe, everybody, and have a great day and a great weekend.